What's going on everyone? Welcome to the kitchen. Welcome to another episode of Cooking with the Veggies. It's just me tonight. So for those of you who tune in for the lovely Mrs. Veggies, I'll catch up with you next week. But for those of you who want to stick it out, we've got a great episode on tap for you. Really, we've got a great month of December. I, I was thinking that we would focus the month of December on winter squash. You can see the nice array behind me. And really, it wasn't so much of a choice, but a necessity. It's December. The garden, it's just, it's pretty sleepy out there. There's, there's not a ton to, to harvest, and that's, that's par for the course here in the Northwest, December through, through really March, even April. Um, it, you know, I harvested most of my root vegetables for the Thanksgiving episode. We've got a couple of lettuce heads out there. We've got some kale. The Brussels sprouts didn't really come in how I wanted them to, so uh, it, it's really limited out there. So when you're trying to cook with ingredients and produce that you that you grew yourself, December through March is tough, folks. It, it really is. But that's where winter squash it is really a game changer because these things are super shelf stable. I planted them in the summer. You got to plant winter squash in the summer. You harvest them in the fall, so call it September sometime, and then they just uh, as long as you keep them in a in a in an area that that is. Uh, conducive to, to, to keeping them shelf stable, so so cool, out of the elements, so not in the rain, so they don't rot. Um, I keep them out in my back patio area, under cover, um, and they, they just, you know, these have been harvested for over two months now, and they're still they're still great. You know, I've been eating them all, all fall, and we're still gonna be eating them, eating them all winter, which is why we're focused in December on winter squash recipes. Also, it's the holidays, it's cold out, and it just feels like hearty squash recipes are uh, are the thing to do right now. So what I was thinking is we're gonna we're gonna throw four different winter squash recipes at you this December. Uh, it's not set in stone yet, so you can't hold me to it. I've got a couple ideas. You know, I was thinking a classic pumpkin pie, uh, just because I've been hearing these rumblings about making pumpkin pie without without real pumpkin, and and it's it's. You know it's uh, it's not sitting well with me, so I wanted to come at you with a with a classic pumpkin pie recipe. I got a butternut squash, this guy right here. So I was thinking of making a butternut squash soup, um, which which will be fun and, and delicious. I, you know, I got a spaghetti squash here too, which which you know I, I'm not all that familiar with, but we could get creative. So maybe a, a spaghetti squash recipe coming at you later this month. But I wanted to kick December off with just a classic. My personal favorite, um, the delicata squash, and this thing is just one of my favorite uh, vegetables to grow, to eat, to cook with. It's it's universally delicious, and it, it can be used in just so many different meals. Today we are uh, we're going simple because simple sometimes is better. We got four ingredients: we got the squash, we got garlic, we got salt, pepper. Well, shoot, I guess five ingredients, sorry. Olive oil as well, that's the fifth. So a, a simple recipe, we're just gonna saute up this delicata squash. And once you do that, you can use it in so many different applications. And that's what's so beautiful. You can put it, you know, you can put it in a salad. You can put it, you can put it on pizza uh, with like prosciutto and, and mozzarella and it's just phenomenal. Uh, one thing we like to do in the house is, is to throw a little Asian influence at the delicata squash, maybe maybe some sesame oil, some, some tamari, some ginger, saute it up and then put it in, in, in a rice bowl. Um, so just a, a ton of different things you can do with delicata squash. But like I said today, we're just gonna saute it up with some garlic, olive oil, salt, pepper, and uh, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be great. So what you need is a delicata squash, grow it yourself or pop down to the farmer's market. You need some garlic. Um, and what you want is a cast iron skillet because that's gonna make the difference. Um, so yeah, anyway, exciting month of December. We're going winter squash all month. And today, we're about to cook up this delicata. So let's get to it. All right, so we got this thing cut. I cut off the ends, cut it in half, and I scooped out the squash innards. And uh, the beautiful thing about delicata squash, you can eat the, the skin. It just softens up and it's really um, not an issue at all. So uh, that's a, that makes it easy. 
when you're when you're preparing it. And so once you got it cut and, and cleaned out, you can just chop it up however, you know, to whatever size you want it. I tend to go crescents and just kind of come through. We'll just let that heat up. I like to put a top on it, a lid on it, just to um, keep the heat in. And we'll probably take it off as they, as they cook. But uh, for now, we're just gonna let these guys go. All right, let's take a look. Oh, look at those things. Cooking up, browning, caramelizing almost. So as you can see, the delicata squash is nice and brown, nice and crisp. These are done. Um, one way to double check is just put a little knife or spatula through one just to make sure they're soft, and, and they are. So I'll take them off the heat. This will be a nice little side dish for tonight's dinner. How's the squash, babe? It's delicious. Good. Tune in next week for more Winter Squash recipes. Peace.